Bro, what happened? I am not feeling well. The internal bleeding is not stopping. Doctors have said that if it continues like this, we might have to remove the colon surgically. Apni to lag gayi, bro. No worries. Kuch karenge. अपनी फोटो वॉल पे लगे उसके पहले जरूर कुछ करना है गोइंग थ्रू अल्थ क्राइसिस चेंजेस योर परसेप्शन ऑफ टाइम यू मे थिंक यू आर गोइंग टू लिव फॉर एटी नाइनटी ईयर्स बट ऑल ऑफ ए सडन लाइफ थ्रू इज अ कर् बॉल एंड यू आर नॉट श्योर नाउ इफ यू विल बी अलाइव नेक्स्ट ईयर थिंग्स दैट यू वॉन्ट टू डू आफ्टर टेन ईयर्स यू वॉन्ट टू डू इट today as tomorrow brings no promise a person starts searching for a meaning in life i was born and raised in a small village in the state of gujarat india my father was a teacher in a primary school and we lived in a big joint family of 10 people just like any other middle class family in india we also struggled a lot financially and yet we all stayed together happily laughing all the time i did my primary education in a small village where my father was a teacher and he taught me mathematics a minimalist by nature my father was a man of strong values and what i remember learning from him the most was not the subjects like math and english but it was how to become a better human being i was a bright student and i managed to get an admission in an engineering college in computer science branch of btech in a university called dd university which is in the town of nadiad gujarat state india i remember i touched the computer for the first time in the very first few days of my college and i was totally fascinated then my father took a loan and he bought me a computer at my home i remember it costed us 50000 rupees back in 1999 my father's salary at that time was around 7000 rupees a month so it was equal to his 7 uh, or 8 months salary and he took a big loan and when I saw him struggle hard to pay back that loan. I decided one thing in my mind, which is I will make sure every single penny that he invested in this becomes a worth investment. In the last year of my college, I remember Tata Consultancy Services (TCS), a major software services firm in India, came for a campus campus interview. and they selected only one person from my class of 60 students and i was very disappointed i thought tcs is a big company and i'm not ready to join this big firm yet so i took a job in a small firm initially and then i got selected in nvidia which is a gpu company uh, and i started working as a device driver programmer so my initial experience in a small company locally was in visual c++ and then i became a c++ device driver programmer i also had a dream of going to us and i became successful in that dream in 2007 when i came to us on a consulting assignment and subsequently i got a permanent job in a major financial data analytics provider Bloomberg so I started working for Bloomberg and last 12 years I have been with Bloomberg when I joined this amazing company I initially started as a C++ software engineer and started solving some cool financial data and analytics related problems and I worked with some of the best brains in the world eventually I bought a big home in US I had two cars I took frequent vacations Hawaii, Florida, California, you name it. I was living an amazing life and it was like a dream come true. And I had 
plans of retiring in Florida Beach with some big 401k money, you know, just work for this company forever, rise in your career, earn a lot of money, invest it, and then at some point retire with this huge amount so that you can just live your life happily you don't have to worry about anything and I, while i had all these plans uh you know they say that life is what happens when you're busy planning other things life is what happens when you're busy planning other things one day when i went to a bathroom i noticed blood a subsequent colonoscopy result revealed that I have an autoimmune disease called ulcerative colitis. My doctors told me that my immune system is attacking my colon and it is uncurable condition. They don't know why this happens. And all they can do is give steroids to suppress my immune system. If things do go out of control, they will surgically remove my colon. Hearing this, I was in utter shock. I lived my whole life eating healthy, doing meditation, yoga, exercise, everything. And I was thinking, why did this happen to me? I spent next eight years in extreme pain and suffering. I would often get bloody diarrhea where I would have to go to bathroom 10, 12 times. On one occasion, I, I had diarrhea for three months straight. I couldn't travel anywhere. I was pretty much restricted to my home. I often took medical leaves my weight was reduced after a prolonged suffering of eight years i became a walking skeleton i was reduced to 49 kg of weight from a healthy weight of 77 kg when i was healthy my last flare was so severe i thought i'm going to die a near-death situation completely changed the way i looked at the world confucius has this saying that we have two lives second one begins when we realize we have only one. I was in a total bed rest and I felt as if my second life had begun. It was the moment when I realized how fragile we are as humans. While listening to a smart passive income podcast, I heard a very powerful statement. It said, it is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. And it sparked this thought of positivity in my brain. Although my health was a big mess, I started thinking I still have a working brain and there's this thing called internet which I can use and become a medium to bring a positive change in someone's life. I started thinking, what can I do? And then after deep reflection, I found that in past, people had given me compliments on my explanation skills they always said you explain things in a very good way and at that time youtube was kind of on a rise and I, I thought maybe what if i start teaching coding on youtube because this is something i could do in the comfort of my home although i have health problems this did not require a lot of physical work and all i had to do is record videos on my computer and you know that way uh, I'm not googling about my health issues. My mind is restricted into doing something positive. So I started teaching Python on YouTube. I absolutely fell in love with the process of making videos, teaching online, interacting with strangers on YouTube through YouTube comments. With every thank you comment that I received on my videos, my sense of purpose and my desire to live became more and more stronger. With this, mentally I was cured and I built a deep conviction that my existence was worth something. This combined with a raw vegan diet where I lived on fruits for many months and some effective homeopathy treatment, I rejuvenated my body as well. As of this recording, I will complete three years being medicine free and totally healthy right now. It is a miracle and I want to thank universe for guiding me through my dark days. My definition of a successful career has changed dramatically in the last few years. And now I want to live an Ikigai life. 
Ikigai means do something which you love, which you are good at, something for which you can get paid for, and a thing which a world truly needs. With that, I want to announce that I have resigned from my job. I posted about this few days back on LinkedIn and I will be joining 